strictly from the 954. Yeah, no, but um, my birthday is August 31st. Oh, you're so I've young. Always, I've always been yeah, the younger yeah. one, yeah. How's that feel? Gas. I'll die. I'll die. Um, You'll die before me, hopefully. Not necessarily. Like, like natural, natural causes. I'll be here a year before you guys. Except, like, my parents live to, like, 99. So, like... Perfect. But your parents I'll see you at 100. Like 60, though. Like, <laughs> nah, I, I really now. think... Yeah. I really think I'll live up to, like, 150. Straight up. Why? Because, like, thinking about it, I only get sick, like, maybe once or twice a year. I'm very healthy. Like, I feel like, I don't know, my my insides are good. Like, I, I don't really feel pain anywhere. Like, nothing. What you're saying is that you're built different. Kind no, of. But no, 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 at that point, medicine is probably like exponential and it's probably gonna be gene therapy, gene rejuvenation, so. Could be. Tack on another 10 years, 20 years, okay. And Where's then like, we just up. have to make it to like the, the conscious upload where we upload our consciousness into like some USB. Dude, that's And we're hundreds, living eternally. That's hundreds minimum. Nah, you it's probably gonna be probably in the next 100 years, literally. My maybe guy. even sooner maybe even sooner if they start like cranking at it you know my god are you talking about like elon musk like Neuralink type no not well Neuralink isn't Neuralink like a communications thing i don't know i thought it was like a, i thought it was a chip that upload. lets you communicate to other people like telepathically because you're all linked up to that neural whatever well, i don't know that sounds sick though i thought that's what it was i don't know i haven't really looked at it but um dude 150 my guy I'm talking more like, yeah, just like you just upload. That's your body, you mean? Yeah, because like, dude, our bodies are just like muscle, just like bones, whatever. What really matters is our mind, though. So it's like, okay, but is once mind, we get that, like, is your mind separate from your body, though? No, at this point, no. But we need to bridge that gap and get there where we could separate mind and body to be like immortal, per se. But Either is, living in a server or with like cybernetic upgrades like but is your mind your brain i think mind is more so your consciousness so you think your consciousness can separate from your body yes i think so but what makes up your consciousness it's not your brain it's something outside of us i think it's a mixture of what we perceive with our physical bodies how we see the world through our brain and our experiences and then like it's a combination of those two things that create like this conscious realm where we live in. That's interesting. You you study this a lot? No. Oh, it's just your no, there's this there's this website that it's like oh like educated guesses per se about like the future that got in there. It's disgusting. <laughs> That's gross. Dude, he Marco spills like the he does the opposite. He always like every really? yeah before every. Are we pod, recording? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Before every pod, like just for luck, he like. <laughs> yeah, I literally don't. You just pour one out? <laughs> no, I don't, bro. <laughs> this man, bro. I don't even remember the time that you were saying that I spilled the f out. Oh, you were, you were literally like reaching. <laughs> it was Hondra. You were literally reaching, and he's like, oh. oh. And then he just keeps like drinking, and he, he, he scoops it up and like drinks a little bit. This is gas. Wait, but I actually I love learning about like consciousness and, and uh, like the mind and like the body connection. I actually mm -hmm. read a book about this uh, guy, and he's like, straight like, you could change, like, reality with your thoughts. Mm -hmm. I think he misinterpreted quantum physics. But anyway. But he's why like, was he talking about quantum physics? Basically, the idea behind quantum physics is that, like, or one of the ideas is that, like, things... Okay, so, basically, you know how photons have, like, a wave function and a particle function? No, anyway, particles go from particles, like, specks of matter, right? Okay. They turn into or they're actually waves and then they turn into matter when you look at it which is like it's it's misinterpreted because the, it, it's the observer effect basically like when you look at something it changes um from a from a wave to a particle mm -hmm. but the thing is to look at something you need to like have photons hitting it and hitting into your eye right 
and that just changes it shakes the whole like system but anyway he thought that he was like i'm straight up gonna live until um he said 102 uh -huh. he was like i truly believe this with meditation nutrition like i know yeah. everything i was like oh hell yeah dude like i'm so into this like i was like dude i was rooting for him the whole book halfway through the book i was like let me look this guy up he died like a month after being published and he was like 58 yeah i mean like you could just die because like you get wrecked by like a car no like, but a plane it was like neurological shit. issues he said he literally said if i'm not killed i'll live until 102 so he died from neuro it said neurological issues from like an aneurysm i guess i don't know i don't know i don't know i mean like yeah like we're really yeah. fragile and like i could like fall head first out of this and like probably be like in a wheelchair, like you know. Woods, yeah, right? like, yeah. What happened? Then? He got in a car crash. <laughs> he Did he? No, no. I just saw nah, nah. He was in a crash. Yeah, they pulled him yeah, out. Yeah. He was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dead almost. Nah, like, it, he just had broken legs. Like, oh, yeah. damn. Wait, what do you mean? That's it. His legs got crushed. Yeah. So he's done. He's yeah. He's probably done. I think he I mean, was he's old he, anyway. He like, was probably he was pretty much done when he was like competing. He needed this to retire. You think? Yeah. Do a yeah. car crash. Yeah, at this point, he's like, dude, I already. Yeah. It's a sign, like. Yeah, Tiger Woods, man, he's a legend. Yeah, of course, yeah, dude. He's like that guy, the only guy really that I know in, in golfing, except for like Phil Mick Mickelson. I don't even know Phil. Mickelson. Isn't Arnold Palmer? Palmer? Yeah, yeah but that's like one like, of the. But I just know him from yeah, the yeah, Ice Tea. Yeah, perfect. Who watches golf though? Like, no, I really only know because of, like the Sports Center highlights. Exactly, dude. No, I really watch. I think it's pretty impressive. Sometimes it's pretty impressive, you know. Golf. Yeah. My guy. It's mad. It's mad. Crazy. I like, feel like in any sport you can be impressive, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Yeah. Golf. It's like guy. a dope golf highlight, dude. A hole in one. Have you seen that? From <laughs> Mars. Like, yeah, that's cool. Hitting it and it's a little ball. Whoa, like, that's so, oh, that's so like so what? Lucky, like that's, a lot of it is luck, bro. Like, you nah, no, nah. it's not luck, skill, bro. bro. You, you can't, can't do that. Yeah, a lot of right, it is yeah, skill. You know, yeah. I would say like ninety nine skill, one percent luck. Oh my god, dude, that yeah, bro. Because really like, because like you're there, you're training, you're training. I'm assuming they train in different like climates, like different like weather patterns, yeah, different sure. wind like strengths, just to like get it down. It's not like yeah, but we're like, going to top to golf some, and just like whacking it. You need to do it. some like mad calculations for that. You can't just like yeah. Oh, are you think they have like a protractor on them? Like in their head. Oh, you think they're actually doing this? Like I think so. That's why Tiger Woods is Tiger Woods. Woods. Yeah, hell yeah. Bro, Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods, because his name sounds cool, dude. You think they're just swinging and they're like? <laughs> it helps. It helps yo, have a like, cool name. I think Man, a lot of is like that. They just feel it, bro. I think they just feel it. But they feel it for a reason, like because they've trained so much and they're like they're good no maybe it's like the higher level consciousness because it's like, like i i felt that i felt that i could like hit it at top golf and like it didn't hit <laughs> <laughs> didn't hit anything it's like, trash though, that's why probably but exactly that's why we're not like pro i feel like they go i mean if once they hit it they're like i hit that you know like you think they like, know like, yeah, like, oh it's in no like, it's like when you shoot a like a but, like a basket okay right? but shooting a basket from 100 yards deep bro like, but i mean it's the same concept right if you're yeah. hitting the ball so much like if you're practicing so much at different courses or whatever you're just like yeah. i know where the hole is like i know where this ball is going it's probably and your going strength. it's either you know going to... in the hole or around the hole like, oh, yeah you yeah, know how to calculate no, oh. your swing like how strong you're gonna hit it for sure but so i feel I'm like that saying, one no. little like that little like ee, like into the hole like you know, I don't think that's more than like maybe ten percent luck if we can yeah. even like calculate it, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, like it has to be like within like a little margin of error, like you know. Yeah, and you gotta think about the size of the ball and the size of the hole, dude. Like, come on, bro. Tiny. Wait, what's yeah. the size of the hole? Is it like a little bit bigger than the ball? It's, it's smaller than the ball. Yeah. <laughs> it's smaller. Like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it could barely fit. <laughs> You know basketball hoops are like two basketballs thick? Or yeah. two basketball wide? Yeah, are you wide. Serious? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it doesn't look two like it's like far yeah. away. I didn't know that, damn. Yeah, that's why you can get like two in there like at an awkward angle. I don't yeah. think two can go in at the same time. Though. That's what happened at the Y when we were shooting around, like, got stuck. This is you have to hit it. <laughs> it got yeah, stuck dude, yeah, side, it. like on the side of the rim. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have the ups to get it down, dude. That sucks. Yeah, you need another ball. Rim, bro. <laughs> you need another this ball. Kid brags about how he's able to touch the rim all the time. Bro, I literally I can't jump. never said that. I can't jump at all. <laughs> I was like, ah, like, 
I touched maybe the top of the the neck because I felt like the big. Yo, hole. Yeah, you couldn't I felt touch like the big neck, hole. dude. Like, all right, <laughs> like what, what am I, like, four or five or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like touching the net, like the top of the net. I was like, all right. Then I, I just ran over to get the other guy's ball. And I was like waving at them, kind of be like, yo, I'm gonna take your ball real quick. None of them looked, and I just like smuggled it away. At the Y? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just like. Chill. I suck at basketball. I suck at jumping too. I can't jump high at all. No, I'm pretty good. I can't jump high at all. Definitely not my sport. No. You're a soccer player though, right? No. You never play soccer? Like for fun. But I was never like in a like travel team or anything. I thought you and Ricardo Hesse played soccer all the time. No, at AYSO, like for fun. And like pickup games. We went to regional together. Yeah, we would play a regional. With like Maria, Yuria, and Sam Casado. Tell us about your life, bro. What are you up to nowadays? Like, you still working for that? I'm not online. Um, yeah, I'm still with the memes. with the online job, hosting memes. Hosting no, I don't memes. have I don't have oh hosting meetings. Yeah, yeah, still with that. Um, just chumming that during the week, usually Monday through Friday. Um, and then last week, well, actually no, this week, this week last Monday. Um, is when I started my classes again. So for what? Um, like right now I'm doing a master's in in China. Oh, so okay. yeah, so since uh, COVID hit, everything's been online. But yeah, I studied there for a semester, like actually at the school, and then ever since then it's been closed and it's been online. So is this through you at this U? No, I just got a scholarship to like go to do my masters. Yeah. That's sick. You just applied yeah. to a master's in China? Um, no, I didn't apply actually. I got the scholarship through the Chinese director, Chinese language director of FSU, because he was um, my teacher and I went with him. Like he's the chaperone for the China trip that I studied abroad in. Okay. So he already knew me and he's like, okay, like no one else is applying. Like if you want to apply to this and I got it. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah. So shit's gas. China? Um, wild very cool um very nice everyone is super super friendly super welcoming they really like foreigners they like when you engage in their culture so me speaking chinese to them it's really wild they like you it speak chinese yeah are you fluent no i would not say i'm fluent at all is it mandarin or it's Can mandarin okay. so mandarin is spoken in like mainland china and then cantonese is spoken usually in hong kong but i think taiwan as well speaks cantonese so where'd you stay or taiwanese um, I study in Tianjin Foreign Studies University, and I stayed in the dorms there. Tianjin is like a small city, small by like their standards. It's already bigger than New York. It's wild, but yeah. But um, what do you mean bigger? Like land wise or land wise, population? size, population, like everything. Oh. And then um, and then yeah, it's it's like thirty minutes north of Beijing through a bullet train. Wow, so wow. pretty cool. And while I was there, I got to, I went with some friends to this thing called the Glass Bridge. Yeah. And it's like up in the mountains like that. And it's this you jump long on bridge. It? Yeah, I was jumping on it a bit, but um, they told me to stop. <laughs> they told me to stop. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's you gotta terrifying. cut that out. Yeah, I, uh, I heard yeah, it, it was pretty recently. scary. I don't know. They have, they have some panels that it's like, um, that it's the glass, but they put like, some sort of animation on it where it looks like it's cracking to scare people oh my god yeah they have it in that. some parts but i didn't tough. see any of that <laughs> so yeah trolly. yeah i'm afraid of heights so it was kind of scary but overall like you i feel like if you were jumping you saw, like, a, like a cliff no you just see like a valley because it's like in between like two mountains like so you misty, climb right? up you climb up the oh, mountain so like and it's like between two mountains? Nah, not not really misty yeah it's a bridge between like two two points of the mountain and then like you climb up to it maybe it's like a two hour hike um or there's like a cable car that takes you if you're lazy and then uh, um yeah once you get to the top it's like this big observatory and it's a flat deck where you can go take pictures on it and then um then there's a bridge on the side yeah that sounds so fun it's kind of crazy because with the wind you feel the bridge like moving back and forth oh a bit. my god <laughs> but um but it's like but, fenced in right like you can't jump off it if you wanted to right yeah it was fenced in with like a chain link fence and i don't think anyone wants to jump pretty high up i mean that'd be Wait, a sick way to jump, die like off the yeah like yeah, yeah. jump off i mean you could jump off any part of the mountain right yeah you <laughs> could true, true. you could but yeah under it is just like this valley and you just see a bunch of trees a bunch Would of rocks die? oh yeah 
Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get yeah, instant death. <laughs> Did you go alone to China? Yeah. There were no one from FSU went? There was this one girl who graduated from FSU like a year or two before me. Um, so I heard I heard that she was going too because um Dr. Lon, like the teacher who gave me it, uh he's like, Yeah, there's gonna be another FSU student. And there already are FSU students there at okay. the university okay. that were just older than me. But um but yeah, I went alone. It was I was the only one from my class to get it. Wow. Only one from like my I guess age group to get it. But um I met up with them, they're all cool people. Okay. Nice. I'll yeah. You around a bit. Yeah, and then um I met this guy, Ben. He's from Boston. Big got, Ben. Yeah, I got really close with him. He's he's super cool. And then um my other friend John, he's from Manchester, like England. Okay. Yeah, so I would hang out with them a lot. We would go out, eat like study together bunch of stuff yeah that's awesome yeah pretty cool so cool people a lot of really um cool foreigners as well um just a lot of people from all over the world so super what, cool what got you into studying chinese um i don't know i've always had like a fascination for like chinese culture since i was little um the writing the dragons the statues like all that like i just like so I wanted to learn more about it. But when I got to FSU, I wasn't sure what I wanted to study. So I just went like business route, to, like trying to do something. But I don't know, I hate math. So quickly, no. And then um, mm -hmm. I was going to keep studying Italian because I learned it in high school. But um, I was thinking about it. I'm like, mm, kind of a waste because like they only speak it in Italy. And it's like, I already feel kind of somewhat comfortable with it. So like might as well just study something new so i figured i've always liked chinese so why not chinese i took a semester and i really liked it, it was <clears throat> dope when i went to i went to a more like rural place and i was at a museum and i literally signed like 50 autographs what yeah because i don't know because they saw us and they're like oh my god like like americans they never seen us and it was like it was like a bunch of like i think middle schoolers like with um on a field trip or some shit what? and they swarmed us they swarmed us and they're like oh my god hello 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 yeah it was really funny That's yeah hilarious. if you're either like really hairy if you have like a beard or something um <laughs> if you're if you're black if you are like tall and white like you're getting pictures taken yeah when i would i would teach on the weekends like um as a part-time job and i would teach like i think they were they were five and six year olds and then eight and ten year olds and then um one kid like during the test i'm like walking around like making sure everyone's doing it. and like this kid like is whispering to me he's like hey, hey, hey. and i'm like yeah what's up and he's like and he goes like this he's like yeah. i'm like what about it he's like can i feel it and i'm like yeah. and then he was like wow <laughs> It was wild. Yeah, That's they've never seen arm hair. Yeah, they've never seen arm hair. Wait, um, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, because I mean, like, Asian people aren't really hairy in general. Yeah. How old is he? He was like eight, nine. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's like, feel English, your yeah. arm. Yeah, yeah they, they, speak, they speak English. I mean, I was teaching, like, English classes. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Did you go to the same place that you went for study abroad yeah as you went same university yeah oh, okay. same university oh you just study abroad there too yeah because it's um it's like a liaison school between fsu and like the tangent school so um that's why my teacher has such good ties there okay and then um yeah same place and yeah that's that's actually where they have all the pandas like chengdu is where they have all the pandas they have the mahjong houses they have tea houses when pandas like they're just crossing the street like like no that's where pandas are native like in the forest Oh, okay. Yeah, they're not just on the street. I'm thinking of them, like, as a common as, like, I don't know. An alligator? Like, maybe, yeah. Nah. Actually, they were shocked, because, like, I had a I had a presentation I did, and I put a picture of, like, an alligator crossing the road, and, like, all my classmates were like, what? Like, like, what is that? Yeah, is that real? And I'm like, yeah. Like, every, every, <laughs> every, every corner, like, there's an alligator. Yeah, the south of China, I've heard it's, it's really nice. Uh, people are a lot more relaxed. Um, that's also where the mountains are for um like in the movie avatar with the blue people that's where james cameron like got really? inspired for the mountains yeah is that where he filmed uh i don't know if they actually filmed footage of it i think it was all cgi for like the copter but like who knows i don't know i don't know how movies work but um but yeah that's where you were talking about the misty mountains that's where oh, okay yeah yeah because that's how i imagine like chinese mountains just, yeah like, but i haven't gone i haven't gone i i 
did manage to climb a few mountains, uh, like two mountains there. Um, I got to see the Great Wall, got to see the Terracotta Army. Um, I went to see the Shaolin monks train up in the mountains. Ooh, that was wild. Yeah, that's cool. Cause they're all like they're all like young kids, like nine, ten. They and, train or like yeah, train meditate. like. What do you mean train? They train, meditate, like martial arts, like kung fu. What they do kung fu? Yeah, I know monks do kung fu. Yeah, kung fu is like Chinese. That's where it comes from. But like monks are strictly Buddhist, right? No. Like monks also practice oh. self defense. Like, wait, are there Buddhist lifestyle. monks? Like, is that a type of monk? So when I think yeah. of monk, I just yeah. think of like Buddhism. Yeah, like these are Shaolin monks. Okay, so what is, what is a monk? Just shaved head type? Like, I think they all shave their head for religious reasons. I think to like either like reduce the the, the things you own. No, yeah. the things you own. I think, or just like out of like. I don't know respect tradition maybe. tradition maybe i'm not really sure but um but yeah all their heads were shaved um and it was crazy they they did an exhibition for us with a bunch of different kung fu styles like derived from the animals like the zodiac the chinese zodiac animals and um they were out there with like weapons and stuff yeah and like they train in this big pavilion it was like a lot of pavilions like at different levels and you just see them all like like punching like really? kicking together doing push-ups training with each other yeah you think it was you could wild take a nine-year-old uh maybe <laughs> maybe depends how long no he's no way trained. dude yeah but i, I think, think i'd rock so. him no way yeah i'd knee him in the mouth bro a nine-year-old that's he's been like, training for like here. five years though like, yeah. like hardcore like that i'll choke him out bro i don't know i feel like it's like i think we could all take him Nine? What you're saying, dude? <laughs> what do you mean a nine-year-old? A nine-year-old doesn't weigh like forty pounds. Yeah, we have, we have like, like at this point, like at this point, life? we have man strength. Yeah, like we're I'm, coming into man strength. I got the big boy like that strength, nearly. Dog. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you guys are <laughs> underestimating like the kung fu. Like I agree. I think they might be stronger than like a regular nine-year-old. Like, oh, of course, I'm not a lot. Of but I'm not saying yeah, they're stronger. I, but, like, I don't think I'm gonna lose. Two or three, I think I'll. They're probably too quick though. Two or three, I think they'll rock me. Maybe two. Two will rock me probably. But one on one, like he's done. One on one, he's done. Nah, I would have gotten kicked off the mountain. <laughs> yeah, but um, overall that was really sick. I went to, I got to see Shanghai. Um, that was traveling on my own. I traveled to the south with like a few of my friends. That's cool. And then um, yeah, and then I got to this place called Suzhou, which they call um the Venice of China and it's exactly that it's a bunch of houses with canals and waterways going around like in ancient times they would use it like now it's just like a little ferry going around that's sick yeah but you, there i actually got um pictures taken of me like hidden like it was like, no like way. hiding it yeah 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 because um because that is actually like a tourist spot for chinese people oh okay so they're not used to seeing foreigners at all there oh, okay. so that one that one like people were asking me to take pictures and stuff is that flattering um I yeah i guess like stuff. like sure like here have a picture what do they like, do with whatever. them they hang them in their room i don't know <laughs> i'm out there though yeah people. yeah and yeah overall like chinese people are super friendly they all want to talk to you they all want to know about the u.s especially if you're american um they what do you tell know them about, about the it. u.s what do they ask um they ask me where i'm from and like um just what i do like how is it stuff like that basic stuff yeah what do you say tell them like i always tell them like oh i'm from miami like oh, oh yeah? yeah and they're like oh, miami like what and i'm like yeah you speak highly of the u.s yeah they they really love u.s they love trump actually weirdly really? yeah yeah every time that i would say u.s they're like oh trump um, how'd you make it like how'd you go from your university to like the south did you like rent um yeah so we stayed we stayed in a bunch of hostels we traveled by um bullet train a lot um just uh buses they have coach buses so it was pretty easy getting around yeah do they home? drive on the wrong side of the road no the wrong same side, side. Yeah, same side wrong. i think that's only in england and in um new zealand i don't know if new zealand i think it was another like like one of the new guinea like territories yeah, I think so, or too. samoa or something i don't yeah, know i think it's I think like samoa as, common as i thought it's only in two places yeah i thought most of the world like drove on the left side no. But yeah, no, that's just weird. That's just weird. Yeah, it's the wrong side. And on the right side. Why would they do that? Like, I have no clue, bro. It just complicates. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. us in military time. The fact that we don't use military time. Is like the fact that we still use feet and inches. Like, 
Yeah, what? it's like grow up, like yeah. AIDS, AIDS converting it. Like I don't know why we did that. <laughs> like who was like? Which one was first? Because like the I think or metric system. I think imperial, but people quickly like woke up and like oh it's dog shit. like yeah the metric system makes it's trash. so much more yeah. sense. Oh, yeah. Like one 100%. foot twelve inch. What? Yeah, like, what? What's going 12? on? Oh, three feet in a yard. Excuse what's a yard? Me? Like, what's going on? Oh, Instead of like one, yard. ten, a hundred. Oh, perfect. All right. Maybe we try to make it catch on. I think it was. I think yeah, it was the yeah. settlers like not having rulers and being like, okay, like that's one foot. Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. an inch. Yeah, like, like, use your feet as a. Yeah, foot, use like. your feet like to build the log <laughs> cabin and feet. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. See, that's nah. a foot. It's like mine's not the same. I need size. those I'm zeros. Not the same size. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. A foot, a foot isn't even the same size. We have different size feet. So like, right there, it's flawed. Like, no, but we're going off my. <laughs> Use my foot. Yeah, freaks, bro. It would suck to live in that time. A lot of people are like, oh, like, I wish we can just go back and like you know enjoy like life as it was without distractions yeah, like dude. you got to realize like people back then like colonial times like earlier like maybe they ate an apple in their life like <laughs> maybe they had a pear like they've never seen a banana i mean neither has hondro but yeah it's like a why he story. doesn't eat fruits hondro hasn't eaten a strawberry since two days ago bro. why yeah. until two days ago yeah. i couldn't tell you bro what's wrong with he's him? never eaten a weird, pear bro I, I I saw like a Snapchat thing of like some guy um, who was eating only mac and cheese for the last like 17 years. How do you live like that? He he didn't. He wasn't as fat as I thought he'd be. Really? Yeah. He didn't look as fat as I thought. But still fat Straight though. Straight mac and cheese. Only though. mac and cheese like for breakfast and like lunch, dinner. No <clears throat> protein like straight carbohydrates i think there's protein cheese. in the cheese in the but cheese, like yeah. very little and it's like no, chemicals from like the box cheese. Where's the vitamin C at? I don't know. I don't really think you should be eating mac and cheese out of a box. Same. You eat like uh like natural like whole raw foods and stuff. Like How's your diet. Like just um, I don't know. I think it's pretty clean. Like I've been trying to like just eat more meals like throughout the day rather than sticking to three or four big ones. Um, but other than that, I feel like I've always like eaten somewhat healthy. Like like yeah, I don't really eat fast food often like you still lift yeah once in a while i was um i was uh training mma but like because of my classes like i had to quit because they're in the same time slot oh uh, okay it's at night yeah because like, my classes are at night since it's their morning time okay yeah so oh then you could probably take a nine-year-old then yeah i have no mma training no yeah i think it's good i think it's it's really good exercise like i want to try mma yeah or you think it's any nine-year-old would beat you bro Dude, if they know maybe a thirteen year old, bro, you've seen those thirteen year olds that lift. Some thirteen like 5, year olds are pounds. big. Like, yeah, hey. some thirteen year olds oh, are big. Oh, for sure. But if they have a plan already, and I'm like coming in with no plan, I'm there's a good chance rushing. Can, Yeah, bro, but your back don't rushing, care. What if they? What if they move is like neck chop? You're on the floor, bro. Neck chop. Nah. They're so quick too, because they've been doing that like nah. thousands of times a day. I take it, bro. Whatever. I'd eat it. I'd eat it up, bro. Nah, I think you get, get, get knocked out if you just like get the carotid artery or something. Is that true? Yeah. I don't know. Just like, yeah, if you go I that don't know far enough, that. I think you're out. I you don't see know, any bro. universe in which a nine year old's ever beat me? Bro, Dude, whatever. I will present a nine year old that like. Dude, bro, find me a challenger. But okay. yeah, no, so basically, I think that the next generation after Gen Z will probably start a world war because we're coming from a peaceful generation us like peaceful generation i'm assuming gen z because i don't think anyone in our lifetime wants a world war has there wait wait are we talking about world wars because there's been a few generations since then yeah or just wars in general i think i think wars in general because has there been enough time to say that our generation hasn't gone to war or hasn't been in yeah we haven't been war? in war we haven't started a war you mean no but we're too it's young. Just the, it's just the rem. No. The draft's at 18. But we, we, don't we can't start. start a war. Are you saying so? oh, oh, fight in the war? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. You're saying like start, like initiate a war between. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah uh, we're, not, we're not far enough to see that. But I think like the way we're raised, I think the way Gen Z is raised, like no one wants a war. We all want to chum. We all want to like trade. We all want to grow. We want to travel. Like the big thing in our generation isn't even like, isn't even like, oh, like 
what job are you gonna get like i guess yeah somewhat still but more so we i think our generation prioritizes happiness and livelihood over the job uh, i i agree with that somewhat. you think so yeah but it's not you can't just like blanket statement like our generation thinks that because i also think that maybe like other generations were like that too because i feel like we're very similar to past generations but we think that we're different because we're like oh but we're us but i feel like they were them like they were us like you feel mm, nah but like at least in our in our generation like when i was growing up i had a good split of like being outside and being like with technology so i think that's what makes us like technologically savvy compared to like our parents generation so you think about that and then you think about gen z who's handed the ipad like at three years old Mm -hmm. two years old and they're already coming in with that technology like ingrained in them so it's like i think they will exponentially like level up our technology usage because it's like they already know how to master it they already know how to work with it they're going to be the ones to integrate it to our lives even more and as far as the the whole world war three goes like i think like gen z is a generation that is really anti-problematic and making sure that everyone's okay making sure that everyone has their space like your pronouns like all that nice stuff and i think like if you start raising your kids in that like mirror image it might cause like hyper aggression within the kids to be like want to rebel and like now nah, like fuck what you're called like i don't care and like they'll be the ones to like basically be an anti- antagonizer to like in the future maybe so that's the that's how i think below gen z would be like that yes their gen z parents are yes like that? yes Wait, but so you think that generation will go to war with other countries though or go to who war knows the like civil war maybe who knows maybe just like maybe just in a world war because you also have to see like China's growing exponentially. They are very territorial. You already see that in South China Sea, like already in Tibet, already in, I think parts of India, they're already trying to dominate Africa and like yeah. grow. And inf- do you know about the whole, like, so basically they're setting up- I know that everyone's trying to be like the top dog, like the big dog. Yeah, so basically China is going into Africa being like, oh, okay, like we'll develop your infrastructure. We'll set you guys up as a country, but you owe us. Like, oh, really? we own you. Yeah. Right. So they're essentially making a foothold in Africa through these countries and like setting them up so they can profit off the resources, profit off all the money, like all that good stuff. So, and in the South China Sea, like it's just like China sees, um, China sees a lot of their traditional borders, like what their kingdom once was, which included Taiwan, which included the South China Sea, but now they're separate entities. That's why like, that's why there's that whole struggle with Hong Kong. Hong Kong like, yeah. is it mainland? Is it its own entity? Same with Taiwan. Like, they don't recognize Taiwan as separate. They mm-hmm. call it Taipei because yeah. it's like part of them, but like Taiwan. everyone knows it's Taiwan. So yeah, and like, I think even in this generation, we're gonna see like proxy wars be- between like China and US in these islands in the South China Sea, for sure, for sure. Even now, like there was, um, there was like a Chinese cruiser passing by like Naval Fleet where they can't go like it's just restricted area it's not their territory and then all you see is like a bunch of like u.s subs like come up and just like post up to be like nah we're here like keep it moving so um so yeah i think tensions are rising there and um china's just trying to grow as a country but even more so than china i really think it's going to be india to be the top dog you see india and it's like off the gdp charts like like leaving china in the dust of like gdp growth yeah china's i mean um india's the only country to like self-make nukes like without nuclear proliferation like well yeah we started the whole but like but like now there's the whole nuclear proliferation where it's like you can't give technology to other countries unless like your vision your i think it's unless unless you're you're, seven or like yeah or like or like um you're there like making sure like it's it's done properly whatever yeah um uh india did it on its own india made nukes on its own like no one gave it the technology no one nothing you see how many people live in india like all the people that are coming out of india to work in other countries like india's gonna boom 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 i think india would be on our side in any future conflict though yeah i agree you think so i agree i really think it would be like u.s versus china it'd be u.s versus china as the two main yeah 
groups. So obviously Russia would probably back China. Yeah. Whatever North, stuff, Korea. North Korea North would Korea back would them. Say. Whatever, whatever they're. But no, yeah, it'd be, it'd be Iran, China, and, and Russia versus India, U.S., U.K., France, Germany. Yeah. Maybe. That's what it's going to be. Count France out, I think bro. that's what's... Why? Yeah, I think France, France is... Like a, I think France already tapped out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tap out. France already tapped oh, out pretty yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, Just give us bread. And World War One, right? Nah. I don't know. Nah, no, I think, I think they... Think they I know, World War yeah, they stood like, tall, but they just got murked. They yeah. stood tall, and then World War Two were like, we're going to use the same Same, strategy. yeah. Like, we're going to ride on horseback, and Germans are like, excuse me? Like, <laughs> we have a tank. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. that. I'll take we're that. We're here already. Yo. Yeah, we have wheels, bro. Are you bro. ready? Like, your horses are 30 miles that way, dog. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think India, 100%, has a... Uh, why would why would they yeah. be on our side yeah because just because um just because i don't think they really align with with the whole like like china ideology and like the communists that china like has the communism that china has like i think um india does like a free market they do like being more like capitalistic like i don't think they like the communist government i'll offer you another that. alternative yeah too because india has aggressive beef with pakistan that's uh, always true. right yeah. pakistan is a very close ally to iran and iran would be one of the first people that i mean they're already supported by the russians so if yeah, we were to ever true. get into a war with china you know yeah. it's, it's already done yeah you know yeah it's scary it is scary yeah but i'm you trying know, to be drafted right now no nah, we won't be drafted Listen, the boomers, they grew up right after World War II, right? That's what's the boom. Like, the boom boomers. right after World War II. How many wars have they started? A lot. A lot yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel Crazy like we generation. could start a lot of wars, too. Like, I don't think we will, bro. Going you see, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. we have TikTok. Like, that in yeah. itself, like, we care about everyone on the world, I think. Like, that's like I a think, globalization. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think like, us, us and Gen Z are way too globalized to be, like, starting beef, bro. Because yeah. you see, like... Me, for example, like when Trump was like on China, I was sweating. I'm like, can I go back? Like, is this for me? Like, what is it? Yeah. So I think a lot of people from our generation are traveling the world, do want to like relocate for work, do want to see like other parts of the world. So it's like, there's no point in ending that globalization. There's no point in starting conflict when we're prospering off each other. We're thriving. We're, it's the best time to live. Like straight up yeah oh, the most chum that. time yeah most chum time easily we have like phones we have air conditioning yeah shit. air conditioning yeah, people are like, yo can we go we're in a hot there? tub like, like I'm, I'm no way trying to live in the 19 nah. whatever you know nah. yeah Hell people no. are like yo can we go back to like caveman times like i don't yeah, want a job it's like yeah bro, again like, caveman times like you say you goodbye to, to any survive? apple like, say goodbye to any apple yeah. any, any like chicken yeah good luck you walk outside luck, bro brother. either like a leopard kills you or yeah. like the, the environment kills you anything can kill you bro, what are you gonna do in the cave like just sit there dude i saw this tiktok Cold? of some girl like just venting about like i didn't ask to be born into this society and now i'm required to have a job why can't we be hunters and gatherers again like talking about this millions of likes bro, God bless her, all, bro. These, all these comments yeah, I like, feel like it has like, to be a joke, though, dude. When you see that, you're like, nah, ah, like hunter gatherer, but there's definitely people. Yeah, there's people way. like, yeah. No, dude, I'm, she wasn't joking, bro. Like, yeah, she literally wants like they're dead. They're dead serious, and they don't understand it. Like, that it's mad cringe. Gatherer. Yeah, well, hey, even like the people that like were like developed enough to make an agricultural society, which is like the beginning of civilization. They died when there's like droughts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, they didn't have yeah. sprinklers. They're Yes, bro, there's all no three <laughs> months like farming the <laughs> just no to get dude, like, that's another thing with, yeah. with, this new, with this new generation especially on tiktok from what i've seen and actually twitter and all, all this new generation they're like why do i have to work why can't why can't um i be why why can't we just give away housing and give away free food and things yeah. like that it's like it take everything takes labor they don't yeah. understand that everything it, it's like if you want a house who's building the house yeah build your own house then yeah at no a certain point they got to wake up yeah straight up they have to wake up they can't realize that everything is free like you are gonna have to work like we're not at that point where just regular jobs are obsolete like yeah that's it, later on in the future yeah, for sure and if you don't want to have the manual labor that it takes to give you shelter and food then settle for a, a job that doesn't require manual labor like yeah. an office or something working eight hours a day in an office like i'll take that for sh for free shelter not free but like in return for shelter and food bro. yeah 
that's a good that's a, that would be a good setup to like work and they provide housing but then it's like that's basically I don't what know. we do we work for money which buys us housing yeah and like the the essence of it i'm talking about a direct program like like that you work for us and we just buy you your house like but then what happens if you stop working that's why they they, they we'll take your house like, like you play monopoly <laughs> right yeah nah, like there would have to be like some something in place but i really don't think like conventional jobs are going anywhere like maybe we'll see um like server jobs become more obsolete like maybe cooks because it gets automated right, even right. some even some surgeries i feel could be automated For like sure. like a lot of things i think um i don't know bro it's crazy especially with this whole covid stuff like you see such a shift to online online teaching online ordering online everything like yeah so i really think like i don't know maybe in the future it's like hey do you want to go to school or do you just want to do it online oh i can see that you know, I, when I shadowed doctors in the ER or in the OR, mm -hmm. they would be on the one side of the room, the patient would be on the other, and they would be in this machine yeah. operating the arm over the patient yeah. that's, like, literally doing this. Thing. And now that I think about it, like, they could be at home doing that. Yeah, that's what that I'm saying. Sick. And that's that's the whole thing with 5G. Now 5G enables us to be at real time, like, with no delay. Wait, what's with 5G? It's just like So 5G, 5G, it lets you upload i think i believe it's one terabyte upload speed compared to i think it was like per minute or what? Uh, per second what come on man terabytes yeah. a lot dude jesus yeah i'm pretty sure that's what it's at damn pretty sure that's Wait, what so it's when at when did it start did it already start yeah i have 5g on my phone do i i don't know do you have a 5g phone i have the iphone 10 or x x probably, probably it's not 5g capable why because of the receiving chip i think like the what do you, what do you have iphone 12 pro oh yeah and is it really fast yeah it's instant what about what but about the whole thing fast? like on wi-fi like loading a page or something yeah essentially it's reaching the speeds of wi-fi wi-fi is just way way too fast like that's why we we use wi-fi but like yeah i think my data in itself like, like, sometimes it depends how good my data reception is at that point but i feel like it could be just as good as wi-fi no, maybe not in download not speed. Oh, not in download, download speed, speed and upload speed. At this point, you can download like a movie as if like you're on the computer. Okay. I mean, because it's like that fast. It yeah. has that capability of being that fast. Really Whether download. it is that fast, I think you're, it depends like where you are, like the the signal, like a lot of things, like the service of the phone itself. But yeah, five G allows, I believe, one terabyte per second to be transferred compared to. And I think 4G was at like 120 like megabytes per second. No way. That dramatic shift. Yeah, that's why 5G is so guy? big. Jeez, bro. I'm pretty well, sure I'm pretty sure it's like a drastic shift like that. But like, the, is it, is it the isn't the like consequence of that like those towers cause cancer? Bro, it maybe putting COVID, maybe though, putting so. putting I don't put my phone in my pocket anymore. Yeah, I was wondering I was wondering yeah, yeah, some people don't sleep with it in the same room. That's crazy. Some, I think that's a little drastic. Like whatever, it's my alarm clock. But um, yeah, bro, I do all that stuff. The whole, the whole. I was looking at Bluetooth headphones. Like, are Bluetooth headphones like safe? And like, overall, yeah. The the consensus was that it's safe because like that that uh, frequency of wavelength that Bluetooth uses does not even get picked up by humans. So that's why it's safe to use. But yeah, I've always noticed that when I'm driving or something and I switch the song, I just drop my phone in my lap. Like, yeah, so I it's do it all like. The time will that affect me in the future and i think there's like not enough study yeah. to like even phones just came out yeah exactly like we just started and so we'll see we'll see when we're older we'll see if i make it to 150 that's the thing yeah that's like, there's so right? many there's so many unknowns yeah. right now like yeah but that's the same thing i'll still rip the jewel i'll still rip yeah, the like stick. yeah hold on give me the pen Bro, give me the pen you you like, damn, like, like, yeah smoking that like what is it but what, whatever what the is literally in the thing. I'm getting I'm like, rocked. What is this? I don't know. I'm getting rocked. Bro, but at the same at the same time, like, what is oatmeal, bro? What is ah, oatmeal? Dude? Oats. Oats, though. Yeah, I feel you. I feel what you. There's oats, a lot though? of, but there's a lot of uh, confusion, like like with the whole um, food process and like labeling. Labeling is a huge thing. GMO? Like you see, yeah, you see, like in in cans of tuna, they say dolphin free, and it's literally because of the mass fishing they throw out these huge nets that get tailed by these ships that catch everything they catch everything everything in its path 
and sea turtles get wound up in there dolphins get up in there oh so like God. once you see like the tuna that it says dolphin free it's because like in that net there weren't any dolphins oh my god yeah because sometimes like they'll just shred it all through i'll eat dolphin but like turtle show i'm not trying to eat some turtle show i don't yeah, know it has like a insane amount of protein oh like the show yeah. yeah but like if it's crunchy like i'm not trying to eat that i mean a little bit of crunchy you know like, you need some different texture in that tuna can <laughs> Imagine you just like pull out like a, a turtle shell, like Wait, a little. If they're collecting bit of all everything, shell? they've got to collect some like like cans and like plastic. And stuff. Yeah. Bro, I mean.